So you're ready to make the kitchen of your dreams? Where do you start? Let me show you what I did and spoiler alert, it's not planning. Let's go. So I'm gonna be sharing with you what the secret ingredient is in making a kitchen renovation a success. And let's just start with the first thing that you need, which is budget. You need to know what your budget is, how much you're gonna spend on your kitchen, what you can afford or what you can set up for later. You need to do your research. I think this one is the one thing, uh, apart from the budget, that is gonna be a key ingredient in making your, your whole kitchen renovation a success. Because the thing with research is that you're gonna gain knowledge and with that knowledge, you're gonna know things ahead of time and you're gonna be able to talk to the different people when you do your renovation and make things, have things make sense for you. And I think this one is just like the most important to me. If you don't do this, you're gonna fail. Google things, that's one of my main advices. Don't be afraid, you're gonna have to do a lot of reading, it's a lot of hard work, uh, but it's well worth it once you finish your kitchen. Um, another thing is watch a lot of YouTube videos. Everyone is gonna tell you something different that is gonna be a nugget of information that is gonna be piling up in your brain to create this whole, what do you call it? <laughs> a diamond of information that you're gonna be forming. With each little piece, you're gonna be making the puzzle complete. So do a lot of research, so watch a lot of people. They all have different things and that's what I did. I watched a lot of different uh, videos to know what everybody was doing, how they did it, because their styles, how they do things, might be something that you are you know, comfortable doing. So that's the most important thing that you need to do. The next thing is gonna be dreaming up your kitchen that is the most amazing and exciting thing that you're gonna do. Dream of your kitchen, what you want in your kitchen, how you want it, the style, the color. Just start by doing a lot of Pinterest boards and that's one of the advantages that we have nowadays, having all this technology to help us, you know, uh, put all that information in just one spot and then go back to it and you can look at it and say, yes, I want this, I'm gonna keep this, all of that good stuff. You can go to Ikea. One of the resources that I used is I have, one of my kitchens is Ikea, the, this one that I'm living in this house, and I had the Ikea kitchen catalog sent out to me, um, or you can go to Ikea if it's uh, nearby. Mine is like an hour, <laughs> an hour away, but I had gone there just to look at everything, and I got the catalog and then I started to look at what style I wanted. And I had all the possibilities that I could that I could get, which you can also do online, but sometimes looking at something for me, I like to see things right here in front of me. But dream of your kitchen right now, the sky's the limit. Start measuring your space. You need to do that because you need to know what you're gonna be working with, how you're gonna do it, are you gonna keep the same layout, are you going to open up the space? What is it within your budget? Thinking about going back to your budget all the time. And don't limit yourself with the budget as well. Uh, I would say because you can do things on your own or you can set up things to do later. You also have to look at materials and the prices. That way you know what you're gonna be um, needing as far as budget um, and what you can afford. Try to get two or three estimates. I know it's very tiring to get all that. I know I did like two, two estimates and I was already super exhausted from doing all that because it's a lot of work. That way you can have a ballpark of what you can get at the moment. One of the places that I like to go is Ikea, for example. And here in California, I also went to a place that's called Cabinets To Go. And they had really good stuff. The only thing is that I didn't like the, the fronts that they had. Some of them were too modern. Some of them were too traditional. And I wanted something that was in between. 
and Ikea was the place to for me to go and I always wanted an Ikea kitchen so that was my dream and they are actually really good quality some I had heard that Ikea kitchens didn't last too long that they weren't good they are actually a really good kitchen and I'm not sponsored or, any, or anything but they have really good systems that you yourself can do for a, a, a kitchen on your own like I did with my family and the kitchen is just beautiful I mean I like it <laughs> and so they have that advantage if you're gonna go to a kitchen um, or bath company that they're a dedicated company for that type of construction then um, also go there get the estimates and see how they work start planning once you have all those estimates once you have all your what you want um, and you have everything you're going to want to start putting everything together who's you gonna be your contractor if you're gonna do it all on your own or if it's gonna be a combination um, getting all those estimates together and deciding which one you're gonna go with that's very important also you need to decide where you're gonna be cooking in the time that you're not you don't have a kitchen a functioning kitchen that way you can you can uh, eat every day. Um, in my case, with my family in this house where we did this kitchen, we decided to do the uninstall all of the cabinets and still use them, even though they were floating and all wonky, they were still functioning. We just put them floating there, not, in, not attached to the wall, and we were able to cook. It was hard um, and it was a little bit messy, but we were able to do it. So it just depends on what you wanna do. Of course, you need to also uh, get a hold of plumbers, electricians, all the trades that you don't, you're not able to do if you're doing it DIY. Uh, all the people that are going to be your trusted people that you can call at any time and say, "I need to do the electricity here or do the plumbing when you get to the sink." All of that, you need to be ready and have people already in your team. If you do it with a company. They do have the trades already uh, that they can call, but it's better if you already know someone that you trust. Going back to the research, you're going to have to be, whether or not you're going to do the kitchen or you're going, going to hire it out, um, just get yourself as m to be as much of an expert in this area as possible because you're going to need to talk to the contractors, you need to talk to the designers, you need to talk to the people that are gonna be selling you the supplies if you're doing the kitchen on your own. And you need to know everything that that is the industry, you know, lingo, so that you can get the best prices, so that you can get what exactly what you want and uh, just be happy at the end of the process. Another thing that you need to think about is when you're doing the planning, you need to you need to know how long you're gonna be in this house. Are you gonna be selling it soon? Are you gonna, is this your forever home? And you can do whatever you want in the kitchen because nobody's gonna, <laughs> nobody's gonna say anything afterwards. Uh, but just be mindful of those things. For example, in my kitchen, I did it more of like a standard traditional, still putting things that I like, but also thinking about the future because I, I think I'm gonna be selling this house soon. So that's one of the things that's very important. Make it where it's marketable for the future if you're gonna sell the house. And sometimes the, we have our best laid plans and things change, so you never know. So make it where it adds a lot of value to your house and you're gonna get a, a lot of bank for your buck. Keep all your receipts and all of your warranties. Keep it because you're gonna need it. At one point you're gonna need it, you're gonna return something and you're gonna need to have the warranty for another and always read the fine print. Let me show you here. I have all my receipts from when I did the kitchen back in 2019 and I also have the one from the other house, the Madonna house. I have bags and bags. This is for all my receipts for everything that I did at the Home Depot and Lowe's. Uh, this is my Ikea stuff where I had all my receipts. And even then I didn't have all the receipts that I needed. Sometimes I would like misplace them. 
So just have a place where you're gonna put it all, um, kind of like baptize the place where you're gonna put all your receipts, all your information, and all the warranties. Um, it's something that you live and you learn, you could say. Um, then once you do that, keep everything. That's my main, my main uh, advice as well. I think everything is very important. So <laughs> keep all those advices uh, together and you'll be okay. A really cool thing that I'm working on right now is a kitchen planner tracker. And this is a, it's gonna be like a little booklet where you're gonna have everything that I've ever come across whenever I'm doing a kitchen. I've done two kitchens right now and it's things, little details. Um, you're, it's gonna have your budget and just um, a list of everything that the kitchen needs to, to get done. That way you don't miss miss a beat um, and it's just something that I think I would have greatly benefited from if I had it at the time so I hope that it helps you I'm gonna have it available in my Etsy store whenever it's done but I want to take my time I don't want to rush it because it's I just want to put every single detail and I'm gonna do a little bit more research also so that I can put together a really good um, product for you so that's uh, very exciting and I hope to have it soon so I'll let you know in the description below whenever it's ready I also want to encourage you because I know that doing this kind of projects on your own even if you have somebody that you've hired is really really hard it's just a lot of being patient and also being savvy and that's why I'm trying to make videos like this so that you guys know what you're getting into and what to look forward to because there's so many details whenever you're doing um, a kitchen remodel that you might just bypass them and not know and then it can be costly afterwards so guys don't give up i know you're gonna have beautiful beautiful kitchens and you're capable of doing much more than you think that you can thank you so much for watching go check out the videos over here to know more about the kitchen and more diys till next time bye